here, the Frugal Crafter, with a really fun idea that you can uh, whip up for Mother's Day or um, gardening season. Here I have some pea pod pendants that I made. Um, this idea isn't new. In fact, I saw a great tutorial at Potomac Bead Company um, on how to make these, but I didn't have the supplies that they used. Um, so I'm improvising with what I have on hand. Um, here I did it with some thinner green wire and yellow beads, so it looks like corn cobs. And over here I did some, you know, tenderly uh, little peapod earrings, but I really love the pendant and I'm going to show you how to do that today. And uh, to finish off this pendant, I used a little crinkled seam binding. So I just took white seam binding and dyed it and scrunched it and let it dry and uh, I really love, love the effect. So the only thing you need as far as supplies is some 20 gauge or you could use 24 something. I wouldn't go, uh, I wouldn't go smaller than 24 if this is going to be your support piece, but you want some copper or gold wire, silver, whatever you like. And um, you're gonna need some beads and you can use as many as you like. I like three because odd numbers look good and I have three kids. So um, I would have three peas in my little pod. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is cut off a piece of wire that is um, about four inches. And you wanna take your three in one tool. And actually you can do the whole thing with your three in one tool, but I like my uh, my flush cutters a little bit better. I am going to just twirl this end. I'm trapping the end of this wire right between the jaws of my plier so I don't have any sticky outy bits that are gonna poke me and injure me. I don't like that. I don't like my jewelry to injure me. Isn't it aggravating when you get a necklace or something and it just keeps jabbing you or tangles in your hair. So we're gonna just tuck that little end right away. And I like to give a little extra spiral because it reminds me of fiddleheads. And I'm from Maine and we like our fiddleheads. So there, so I've got that little uh, little curl there. I'm gonna set that down. And then I'm gonna need a 20 inch or so piece of wire. So what I like to do is measure at about uh, 10 inches and then I make a bend because I know I need to bend it. So I'm just making a bend here and then I'll just match it up. And if you're off a little bit, it's really not a big deal. So don't stress out about it. And I'm just gonna cut that off. All right, now I need to pull my little bend tight. So I just have a little hole in there. Uh, can you see that little hole? And then I'm gonna stick this short wire right through there. And it's gonna be trapped right in there. Next up, we put our three beads on or however many beads you want. They slide on really easy. So these, uh, glass pearls I got last summer or last spring and uh, Michael's in West Springfield, Massachusetts. We went down there for the stamping show and they were 99 cents regular and they were on sale for, um, for 40 cents a strand. I went nuts. I bought a ton of them and I wish I bought more, but then when I got home, I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to do with all these. So here's a fun project for them. Um, so I'm taking the, uh, one of these ends. I'm going to wrap it up to the top. Whoa. Wrap it up to the top of the bead and just go right around that wire. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, wrap it around. Okay. So we've trapped those beads. So they're not going to go roll, uh, rolling around on us. Now we just want to keep wrapping our wire top to bottom. You can do a couple of, a uh, couple time, a couple at a time. Um, like on this pendant, I actually went in afterwards because I thought that the wires were a little too unwieldy and I just wrapped around it with some green artistic wire, which is kind of funky. I, I kind of like that. Um, so you can really adapt this to however, however you want. I just try to keep it fairly neat. While I'm doing these videos, though, I have to keep my hands way far ahead of me, like in front of me, and sometimes I can't control it as well as I'd like. All right, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to wrap this last, the last pieces right up to the top. And I'm just going to have like a little short piece for the tendrils. If you want it longer and you end up in a situation like this, you can unwrap one of the, one of the wraps so that you can have a little bit longer. But I think that's going to be good. Now I'm going to bend those out of the way because I want to make a loop so I'll be able to hang this. So what I'm going to do is just grab it with the round part of my pliers and bend it forward. Then I'm going to slide it back a little bit so I, I'm on the a thicker part of my plier and I'm going to wrap it back and then I'm going to reinsert my pliers and I'm going to pull the end forward and wrap it around the base a couple times just to really lock it in there so I have a nice secure wrapped loop for hanging my pendant and then I'll just snip off the excess and that's pretty good and I can squash it if I feel that's a little sharp Let's go in there with my squishy part of my three in one tool and give it a squash. Squash it right in there. Good. There we go. That's, or you can always file it with a little a jewelry file. All right. So then you've got these little bits here left over 
and um, you can, if you have a long piece like on these earrings, I wrapped the ends around a skewer or actually a, a little tiny sock knitting needle. But for a short piece like this, you can really manage it with your um, with your pliers. Just go in there, trap that little end in there. And what I do is I'll go get a little ways done, and then I'll turn it around. I'll come in from the other side, and uh, for some reason I have a little easier time making a tendril that way. Try not to mar your wire like I am because I'm holding this way far away from me. I usually have this right in front of my face when I'm doing this. Because if you overwork your wire, you'll end up snapping it. And just do that for the other side. And then you can um, either put it on a little card like I did so that the recipient can wear it with their favorite chain. Or you could put it on a ribbon or some other sort of chain if you prefer. So there we go. Easy as can be, a little pea pod pendant. And you know, you can do the earrings as well, which I think are really fun because they're also really lightweight and have a lot of movement. But there you have it. It's quick, it's easy. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the, the uh, link to the Potomac <laughs> tutorial, I'll put that down underneath in the video description. So you can, I almost said video prescription. Oh my gosh, I think I have a cold. <laughs> I'm looking for a video prescription. Oh my goodness. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy crafting.